Hey everyone, I'm here with my next video. This is Conditioning Basics. We're going to start at the beginning with some simple movements that we can build upon. This is a great video for anyone who doesn't have a lot of experience in the fitness world or has any injuries or degenerative conditions that limit them from doing some of the more complex movements that are available out there. For each of the movements that we're doing today, there will be six of them. I will give you ways to scale them up and scale them down to either make it a little bit easier or a little bit more challenging for yourself. I will demo each one and then we'll walk through the workout together. All right, I hope you enjoy. Okay, let's start with exercise one. Exercise one is going to be a squat with a side leg lift. First, the basics of a squat. When I'm squatting, I do not want to bend my knees first. I want to wait, send my hips back, then I'm going to bend my knees to go down and come back up again. The second really important point is after I sent my hips back and I bend my knees, I want my knees to go outwards, okay? So we do not want this to happen where my knees come together. So hips go back, knees go wide, and I stand back up. Okay, so I'm going to demo the version that we are going to be doing first. I'm going to use a chair for the first version. I'm going to stand very close to the chair as if I was going to sit down on it. Feet are shoulder width apart. I'm going to start with that hinge back. So the hips go back, the knees go wide, I sit down. When I stand up, I'm going to try to lift one leg to the side. Hips go back, knees go wide, stand and lift. If you want to scale the leg lift down, you are going to stand and slide the leg to the side and then bring it back under you. Slide the leg to the side and bring it back under. You want to make this a little bit harder. You can grab a few weights or cans, anything that will add a little bit extra load. And you're going to do the exact same motion that we just did, keeping that weight against your leg as you lift it. Our second exercise today requires a weight or a soup can or a water bottle. A water, empty water bottle filled with sugar is a great solution. Um, I'm going to show you working one arm at a time, but if you want to challenge yourself, you can definitely work both arms at the same time. So I've got a five pound dumbbell here. I'm going to take it in one hand. I'm going to turn my palm forward. And I'm going to curl that up to my shoulder and release it. Then I'm going to turn my thumb forward and lift that weight as high as I can and bring it back down again, keeping my core nice and tight. Okay, and then I would repeat. And to the front. Okay, so during the timed portion of this, you would do one on the right, one on the left, and just go back and forth. If you would prefer, you can do this seated. So again, seated, palms forward, curling in. Thumb forward, overhead, okay? And to make this more challenging, we can do both arms at the same time, curling in and lifting, or we can slow down our motion. So we try to take one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. For exercise number three, we are going to do compass lunges. For this one, the leg that stays on the inside of the circle is always straight. So I'm going to work with my right leg, keeping my left leg in the middle. I have a chair here, so if I want to use it for stability, or you can do this by a wall as well. I'm going to step forward with my right leg, and I'm going to bend that right knee, keeping my left knee straight push to stand up. Now I'm going to go out at 45 degrees. Again, the inside leg is staying straight. Then directly out to the side. 45 degrees to the back. Directly behind you. And the last one, if you want to challenge yourself, you're going to cross behind yourself. Okay, so the leg that stays in the middle of the circle, that knee never bends. It's always the outside leg that's moving, that's going to be bending. 
Okay, so use a wall if you need it, use a chair if you need it for stability, and only go as far as your range feels comfortable on this one. If you want to increase the challenge and you have any kind of band available that's a loop, you can put that loop around your knees and then as you step, you'll feel that extra resistance between your legs as you're going through your compass. For exercise number four, we are moving into a push-up. So this push-up, we are going to do a scaled version. You are either going to use the chair that you have or a wall. The lower your hands are to the ground, the more challenging this exercise is going to be. I'm going to demo on the chair first, and I will demo on the wall second. So I have my chair. I'm going to put my hands on that chair. I'm going to step back a little bit. And I'm going to bend my elbows in towards my body and push back to straight. What we don't want to do is let our shoulders shrug up. So make sure there's lots of space between your ears and your shoulders for this one. If I'm working on the wall, same rule applies. I'm going to put my hands on the wall at chest height and I'm going to step my feet a little bit away for this one. The lower my hands go, the more work I have to do. So again, that rule applies. The higher your hands are, the easier this is going to be. The lower they go, if I were to turn this chair around and work off the seat, that would be even more challenging. So these are ways that you can scale this exercise, but just make sure those shoulders stay back and down during this as you're working and that your elbows don't go out to the side. They stay nice and close to the sides of your body. So, for exercise number five, we are doing a leg extension with a hamstring curl. So your hamstrings are the muscles that run along the upper back of your legs. So I'm going to stand and I can use a chair or the wall for stability. I'm going to bring my outside leg, the one further away from the chair or the wall, back behind me as far as I can. And I can even lift that foot up if my balance allows. And then I'm going to bring that heel as close to my bum as I can. And back in again. So I'm still trying to keep that leg pulling backwards the entire time. So when I release this, I'm still pulling back here. And it comes back in again. If you want to increase the challenge on this one, you can not use a wall or the chair, and you can work with your balance a little bit more. Or again, if you have a loop band that you can put around your knees, you'll feel that resistance extra as you pull back and away. For our final exercise, you will want a chair that has arms on it. The only one I have in my home has wheels. I wouldn't necessarily suggest that you do that. This is for demonstration purposes only. You're going to start seated on the chair. You're going to have your arms on the armrests. I don't want you all the way back. Your thumb's going to be a little bit forward. Keeping your feet flat on the ground, you're going to press your arms straight and then bring yourself back down again. So we're doing a dip. Again, we don't want those shoulders up by our ears, so push them down and away. Keep your core strong as you press. If you want to increase the challenge of this exercise, you're going to lift one leg for each of your reps. To make it the most challenging, you can keep that leg straight and nice and high as you lift up and down. Our first exercise is our squat with our side leg lift. Listen for the beats. Here we go. Hips go back. Knees press wide. As I stand up, I lift that leg to one side. Hips, knees wide, stand up, and lift. You want to make this more challenging, you're going to get rid of that chair. If you want to make this easier, don't lift the leg, just slide the toe to the side. Good. Remember, hips first, then knees. That chest should lean forward a little bit as you're going back and down. Nice job. 
15 seconds to go. We have a 30 second break. If you want water in your breaks, now is the time. Our next exercise is our bicep curl with our front arm raised. So get those weights ready. I'm going to be working standing up, but you're welcome to work sitting down. I'll show you with one arm to start. If I only have one dumbbell, I'm going to switch back and forth between arms. Here we go. Palm goes forward, curl in, nice and slow on the way down. Turn that thumb forward. Keep your stomach really tight as you lift that arm straight overhead. And then switch hands. Palm forward, curl. Thumb forward, straight arms overhead. You're welcome to do this exercise sitting down. It'll take some of the load out of your core. And switching sides. How high your arm go depends solely on how strong you are and how much mobility you have, okay? So don't go further if you feel pain or discomfort. Only as high as it makes sense for you. 15 seconds. You're on a 30 second break. That was exercise number two. The next exercise is our compass lunges. So again, you're either working against the wall or you're gonna grab that chair for stability. We're gonna be doing one minute on the first side and then turning around to do a minute on the other side. You have 10 seconds until we start, okay? So I'm starting with my left leg still. It's gonna stay straight. I'm stepping with my right leg. So left leg stays straight, right leg bends. The further you step away, the more work it is, 45 degrees. Directly out to the side. 45 degrees behind me, straight to the back. And then if you're adding that challenge or taking that leg diagonal behind your body, starting again. So this inside leg is staying straight the entire time to the side. 45, straight back, and inside. Start at the beginning. Front. 45. To the side. 45 back. Straight back. And diagonal. And squeak one more. Front. We have 30 seconds and we're going to switch sides. I'm going to turn this chair around for myself. Let my cat go by, that's licorice. This time I'm working with my left leg. My right leg is going to stay as straight as it can throughout this whole stepping process. So, left leg is moving, right leg is still this time. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Straight out to the front. 45 degrees. To the side. 45 degrees backwards, straight back. Then if you're challenging yourself, there's that diagonal lunge. Front, 45. To the side, 45 backwards, straight back. And behind, one more time. Side. And these ones going backwards, it sometimes feels weird to keep that inside leg straight. And diagonal. Five more seconds. Keep going. We're on a 30 second break. I'm going to move lovely licorice beer out of the way. 
We're going to be going into our push-ups next. So if you're using a chair, I suggest having it up against the wall, somewhere solid. It's not going to slide out on you. I'm going to keep my weights on that chair to keep it still. Again, the lower your hands get on the wall, down on the chair, the harder this is. Here we go. So shoulders away from my ears. Hold them down and press. I'm letting my elbows stay close to my body. If I want to use a chair and I want to make it easier, I can also bring my feet in closer. And then I don't have to do as much work with my upper body. And I'll show you some of the wall variations as well. If they're a little bit lower, keep those elbows in nice and close. Whichever challenges you the most, you have a little over 10 seconds. Closer your feet are to the wall, the easier this gets. Nice. We're on a 30 second break. Grab some water if you need it. We have our leg extensions coming up next. So for this one, you may want that chair again. This is the one where we're reaching behind us and bringing our heel up to our bum. Okay? Less than 10 seconds. We're going to start, for me, on the right side. Reaching back, keeping it pulling back. Heel comes up as high as you're comfortable. If lifting the heel feels like too much, take that part out. Start with just the extensions and your balance. If this feels too easy, try not to use the chair when you do this one. So then your core has to do a little bit more work. We got about 15 seconds to go. And we got to do the other leg. Reaching, stay active. Pull that leg behind you. That's the muscles in your butt that are doing that, your glutes. You have a 30 second break. We're going to switch our sides. Drink as much water as you need during these breaks. If you need bigger breaks, just hit pause and come back and catch up. We've got about 15 seconds before we're switching sides on our leg extension with our hamstring curl. Five more seconds. So reach, bend, down, and in. Reach, bend, down, and in. And we're trying when we reach backwards to not twist too much. And we want to stay nice and stable in the middle. Halfway. And then reaching strong. Lift as you extend that leg. Keep reaching back. About 10 more seconds to go. Good. Five seconds. Nice job. We have one exercise left. So I'm going to switch out my chair because I need the chair with the arms on it. Again, I'll be using a chair that has wheels. This is not suggested. <laughs> it is just my only option to demonstrate with you with the furniture I currently have. Sitting closer to the front of the chair, hands on the arms. So basic option, we're trying to push up straight and back down. Push up straight 
and back down, keeping those shoulders away from your ears. If you want to challenge, you're lifting one leg up and then the other. Still too easy. Straighten that leg. Lift it as you press. Lift it as you press. So try to keep your eyes not looking at the ground, but gazing forward if you can. We have 20 more seconds. Go at whatever tempo suits you, whatever leg variation suits you. When both legs are down, you get to use your legs a little bit more. 10 more seconds. And you're done. 